Hello and welcome to today's demonstration. My name is Chris Paulsworth and I'm a mixing and drying specialist here at Hosokawa Micron Powder Systems in Summit, New Jersey. Today we'll be discussing our Vrico Nauta Conical Screw Mixer. This here is our 80 liter unit. This is a low shear batch mixing technology. This technology is used to mix powders and granules and is available from 5 liters up to over 100,000 liters. Today we'll be using the model 80 LDC41 from our test center. Looking at this unit from the top down, you've got the drive up top with the motors for the auger, the orbital arm, and the intensifier, which is an optional piece of equipment. Uh, moving down, you've got the mixer vessel, which you would fill with the powder. And at the bottom, you've got your discharge valve, which is an ice and ball segment valve. Behind me, you have the control panel, which we'll be using to control the unit. Looking inside the mixer, we can see how it operates. The auger off to the right runs down to the bottom of the vessel and is supported by the orbital arm at the top. In the center is an intensifier, which is optional. We'll now start the unit. You can see the auger start to rotate. You can now see the orbital arm also start to rotate. The mixing in this type of mixer occurs as the material is transported from the bottom of the mixer up through the top by the auger. The location of the auger is changed by the orbital arm to mix the entire batch. Note that this unit is cantilever with the screw fully supported by the orbital arm. There is no bearing or support at the bottom. For today's demonstration, we'll be blending extra fine granular sugar with an average particle size of about 400 microns with iron oxide pigment that has a particle size of less than 20 microns. We'll be mixing 99.2% sugar with 0.8% iron oxide pigment. We'll now show the mixing of the two products. We're going to discharge the material from the mixer now. Looking inside the mixer, you can see it completely empty due to the conical shape. There's a small residue of iron oxide powder on the walls, but there's no buildup of material inside the mixer. Here you can see the feedstocks along with the product. Thank you for your time today, and if you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.